friends, it's time for the Ozark Jubilee. Tonight, paying special tribute to the owners of the nation's jukeboxes, the music operators of America, and of course, starring one of your all-time recording favorites, Red Foley! Thank you. Well, sir, uh, this instrument right here that's standing by me right now is uh, supposed to be a music machine, and I think it's playing just softly. I can hear it here, and it's not supposed to do that. Will you hush? <laughs> <laughs> they call this a jukebox, friends, and uh, I'm going to walk down here just a little closer so that uh, you might not be able to hear this jukebox playing. But... Uh, Tonight, we're mighty pleased to dedicate our songs and our whole show to the music operators of America, the jukebox operators of the nation who go into their big annual convention tomorrow in Chicago, and we think that they certainly deserve a tribute because uh, it's their sort of judgment that puts the best records on your favorite jukebox, even before the country in general, re general recognize them as becoming hits. So we'd like to... Extend a big old Zark handshake, yes, sir, to Mr. One Stop Operator and Mr. Jukebox Johnny. This is your show personally just for you, yes, sir. Now we uh, want to look back here just a minute and see if we can't find a record on here we want to play. Uh, oh, I'll tell you, we got the Foggy River Boys here, and I'll just see if there's any quartet numbers on here. Uh, if you folks in the audience here will just uh, help me out. Of all the quartet songs that you might have heard through 1954, there must be one that stands out in your mind. So let's have the audience... Uh, I'll tell you what, what, what song would you like to hear the Foggy River Boys sing on here, huh? Just... <laughs> oh, now, wait a minute, not everybody. <laughs> I think somebody must have held up a card back there. <laughs> Well, that's just what it is. Here's the Foggy River Boys and this old house. Thank you. 
55. I'd like to think that Mr. Stuart Hamlin might like that, too, don't you think? Yes, sir. Well, let's see. If we put a nickel in here now, I don't believe we'd get anything because Joe Slattery that don't make records. He does, but none to speak of. <laughs> <laughs> here he is. Joe, you got something to say, buddy? Well, uh, yeah, Red. Yeah, if you don't run out of any nickels over there, you're going to have the next of your guests in just a minute. Hi, folks. This is Jim Nars. I'll be with you in just a minute. Oh, come on now, hurry up! Well, sorry to be late, folks, but I uh, had a hard time tracking down the Regal Bird tonight. You see, with more and more folks uh, swallowing more Regal Pale beer every day, this is one busy little critter. Isn't that right, my fo fine, foamy friend? <laughs> but thanks to the Brew Bird of Happiness, there are plenty of Regal Bird eggs for everybody, including you. And inside this shiny shell, is the brightest, bountiest brew that ever made you thankful for having a thirsty throat. In fact, I bet it won't take more than one glass of Regal for you to join the fun-loving folks who cheer and cherish the Regal bird for the pleasures they find in Regal Pale, one of America's two great beers. Well, you know, about three weeks ago, I believe it was, our goodwill ambassador, Pete Stamper, promised to sing for us, and it's been like a serial now. We've been going on about three weeks and haven't heard from him yet. But uh, tonight, because so many uh, big music operators and recording people are watching, we hope, I think we can get Pete to uh, sing right off the bat. So here he is, Ozark Jubilee's goodwill ambassador and newest singing star, Pete Stafford. Peter, come here. Yeah. I was just sitting over there, like to have been late. I was reading the paper. I make a habit of reading the paper because you find a lot of interesting things. I brought this. I thought maybe you might be, uh, if you didn't read this, uh, you'd, you'd be interested to know that there was a new record set about uh, two weeks ago. We, we just got it down home. Uh, this feller was flying, and he flew across the United States uh, just on one hamburger. Uh, <laughs> if he'd had a steak, ain't no telling where he went to. And, uh, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh, <laughs> may I have this? I guess. You're supposed to sing tonight, you know. Well, I... And, uh, you're beating around the bush. You went on a detour and everything else. You ain't gonna let us down tonight, I'll tell you that, buddy. Well, I, I, I didn't want to. See, I practiced all week. In fact, I sung the last six days. <laughs> and uh, I've come up with a horse tonight that a cool old rag didn't even... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I 
Well, I got a little cold on uh, sugar left over here if you want to just gargle it well, a little bit. Well, I've, I've got a tune that probably made more money for the jukebox operators than any of the rest. Uh, because, uh, <laughs> it never was recorded and therefore it probably <laughs> left the place for one that was. You, know? <laughs> you mean something like, uh, Dear John letter wouldn't have been on yeah. there if you'd have made yours yeah. and they wouldn't have made all that money yeah. out of little Gene Shepard's record, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I ain't got paid yet. <laughs> Well, look, you're going to sing now. What are you going to sing for? Dreams, Dreams, Dreams is the name of it. Dreams, Dreams, mm -hmm. Dreams. You wrote the song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't need a guitar. We've got plenty of musicians over here. Just give us your key and about the time you're going to sing it in. And I, I sing it in A chord. Y'all give me a chord mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. All right, now give us the time. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit slower than that. All right. <laughs> Dream that I was dating out in Hollywood. Never in my life had a took a turn with Turner and she treated me fine. Even Gable wasn't able to throw me a line. Marilyn Monroe was making merry with me. But then I woke up just as mad as could be. Dreams, they never come true. I never get to do the things, the dreams that I do. I begin to think you wasn't going to have a swallowing place in there for me. You know? <laughs> huh? That swallowing place, that's commonly known as a turnaround, ain't it? They just didn't give you one, did they, people? You know the folks like that, and uh, I think one good turn deserves another. And you got another song you could sing for us right quick, Mike? Well, here's one of a, I got one of a different style. Different style. And this one I had nothing to do with. A friend of mine, Lefty Frizzle's the one put it out <laughs> on the few uh, boxes. Uh, it, I might ought to explain something about the song. He's from uh, Texas, see, yeah, where they I talk know long, mm -hmm. and the song is, is is wrote short, and you have to sing it uh, the words once and half again to make it come out right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be with you always is the name of it. You going to sort of imitate yeah. Lefty on this? All right. Mm -hmm. I lose my blues. Pretty pleasant surprise to a lot of you nice people out there. Pete uh, does have a lot of talent. He writes songs and sings them, and we hope something real good happens to his singing. You know, another name that's on all of the music machines these days is a young boy by the name of Porter Wagner, who had quite a jukebox hit uh, a tune called Companies Are Coming. Tonight, we've asked Porter to do his bit 
in tribute to all you music operators of America with several of the country music tunes that you operators have helped make big hits through 1954. And I think maybe you'll recognize them. And here's our good buddy Porter Wagner. Porter. Thank you for recognizing that one called Slowly. I think I've caught a little bit of Pete Stamper's cold, maybe, and try that to cold oil sand there. We hope you'll uh, recognize this one here. It was a big record for a fella last year. It goes like this. I don't hurt anymore. think it could be time has opened the door and at last Thank you, that was a big record for Hank Snow last year, and uh, I imagine that you folks have been up to the jukeboxes here of late, have probably played this tune right here. It was a great big record right nowadays, and we'd like to do it especially for all of the operators. And Mr. Grady, you kick us off, please. <laughs> may not be as big as a jukebox, but you're full of tunes just like one. Tell you what, friends, though, right now is when we take time for our gang to have a little breather, and we ask that you folks give your attention to this. So, you know, folks say they uh, get such a kick out of the square dances here on Ozark Jubilee, they just feel like joining right in. So the Regal Bird and I, we got together and wrote a special square dance call. So if all you folks out there will just follow the steps as I shout them out, you'll be surprised how much fun you can have. You ready? All right, let's go. Easy chair, skip to the kitchen with a carefree air. Head to the icebox, open up the door. Now you all know what you're looking for. It's Regal Pale, my favorite brew. One for me and one for you. Pour from a can, pour from a bottle. Does, does all you pour down your thirsty throttle. Cooling, cleaning, clear and bright. Frisk as a filly on a Saturday night. Now y'all turn around and dozy do Back to your chair for the rest of the show. Drink Regal Pale and join the cheers for one of America's two great beers. <laughs> Well, folks, uh, we may be a little early right now, speaking of next week, but we really want you to be with us next week. Uh, due to many requests, we're going to have uh, our little tadpoles back with us, the little square dancers. And uh, not only that, we're going to have Western movies, funny man of all times, our good friend Smiley Burnett. So you folks be with us next week for a real big time and a few laughs. You know, uh, these things here recently, the big praise on the jukebox, this seems to be... Uh, race and blues records, and it seems that all the pop artists have jumped on them, and, and also our country music artists have uh, sort of got on the bandwagon, too. And uh, 
That doesn't leave out our good old good buddy Hawk Shaw Hawkins. He recently recorded a tune called Coca Mo. Of a little girl by the name of Rita Robbins, but we got one of our mainstays here with old Hawk to help him, little Gene Shepard. And here's Hawk Shaw Hawkins and Coco Mo. <laughs> Tell me, baby, whisper in my ear. Talk to me, baby, whisper in my ear. Come a little closer, don't have no fear. Don't you know? Jeannie Shepard helped out Hawk tonight. That's wonderful, Hawk. Uh, how to do, That's sir? That's fine. That's fine. Tell you what, would you just walk away a minute? I want to do some talking right now. I sure yeah, will. Yeah, sure, I'll get over here and rest a little bit. Friends, tell you what, now, don't think we're, we'd go very far wrong right now by putting old Mr. Redhead Foley himself in the spotlight, and that's what I want to do. I happen to know he's more grateful than he can tell you for voting him one of the top five artists in the field for the past year. And behalf of Red also, thank you a lot for naming Red, Foley, and Kitty Wells. Their duet, one by one, of course, one of the very top songs in popularity. But we'd like for you to hear now a top two, I think, for 1955, and hope you like it too. Red Foley and Make Believe. <laughs> Without Miss Kitty Wells, too. Make believe that we're happy. Make believe that it's true. Make believe you have me. I'll make believe I have you. We'll make believe till we can make it come true. You belong. belong to someone too But they just can't seem to see That our love just has to be We'll make believe till we can make it come true Understand our kind of love. We know a love like ours is weak. I know just. 
look for that fine new Kitty Wells and Red Foley record the next time you walk up to a music machine. Well, the next item in business here, friends, is a message especially for you. But I speak for our whole Ozark Jubilee gang when I say that it's been just a whole lot of fun devoting these past 30 minutes to the songs that the good jukebox folks have helped make hits. Yes, sirree. We'd like to say to the music operators that we'll be visiting with you Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week at the big MOA convention in Chicago. And I'm sure that there'll be a lot of handshaking. We'll be meeting a lot of friends and making a lot of new friends. So to help me sort of convey our friendship to you gentlemen, we'd like to call our gang out here once more. The, well, here's our band, the Grady Martin and the Foggy River Boys. The uh, Foggy River Boys right here. Boys, come in here, will you? Say hello to the gentleman out there. Yeah, let's call the big, big, the big hawk in here. Hawk, come in here, buddy. Uh, little Jeannie Shepard. Jeannie, you stand in here so everybody can see you right between me and Hawk. Porter Wagner, come in here. Porter, stand right here. And our good boy that uh, just the uh, new singing star, Pete Stamper. Come here, Pete. Well, I guess that's got about all of them. And we have a little song, boys. This is what it is. It's called Shake a Hand. Yes, sir. Ready? Ready. Shake a hand, shake a hand. Shake a hand. Because the Regal Pale invites you to join us again next week for Old Song Jubilee. In meantime, heed the call of the Regal Bird who says, Drink Regal, drink Regal, drink Regal. Regal Pale, one of America's two great beers. ABC Television Network.